Okay, well, g'day. Let's uh, install one of these Aussie Traveller RV doors. Um, this demonstration I'm going to show you here is to uh, fit to a Styromax panel. Um, this process is the same for this type of caravan door, or it can be the same for the um, teardrop door, and in some respects the um, motorhome door as well. Okay, so what are you going to need? Well, first things first, you're going to need a door. Um, if you haven't done already, download our adhesive consumption guide. You'll be needing that. Um, you'll need a roll of our styro tape from Henkel. Um, you'll need a tin of VR10 from Terrison. Uh, of course, Terrison MS939, uh, a styro gun A, a pneumatic uh, sausage gun, or you can use the um, mechanical ones that we offer, but. Uh, I like to spoil myself and use the air one. I think the air one's better because it, um, it provides more even coverage of the adhesive onto uh, that, what you want to apply it to. Okay, first things first when bonding. You've got to make sure that uh, both surfaces are clean and dry. So what we'll do, we'll clean first. So we'll get a white rag and we'll get our tin of VR10. Um, we'll apply some VR10 to the rag and we'll just wipe it around the bonding surface. Okay, now I'd strongly advise using a white rag when you're uh, applying any sort of chemical to the panel, just so you don't uh, get any dye run from the uh, from the rag so if it's white you'd have less chance of seeing that okay now this um, VR10 is styrene safe so I think I'll put a whole pile on here and I'll actually rub it on the foam there you go so it's just cleaning that foam up unlike if you use something like acetone that would start to eat the styrene away, so um, I wouldn't suggest using acetone. Although the VR10 from Terrison is completely safe. Okay, look, what we'll do first is uh, always do a, a dry run when you're fitting something to a panel, um, be it a door or a window or a hatch, not so much the windows, but anything that's glued in, always do a, a dry run first, just in case there's any problems. Uh, you don't want to strike those with um, glue on, on your product going off. So we're going to do a dry run inside here. Um, we've cut this panel appropriately for the size door. Uh, I'll just give a tip is just to make sure that any of your steel work or your flooring, just make sure for these typical 622 uh, wide doors as you make this gap 624. So give yourself two mil on the width and two mil on the height if you're designing, uh, just to give the door a bit of a bit of a, a snug fit but a bit of clearance as well so the last thing you want to do is press these door panels in where it's tight and what it tends to do is it it can squeeze the door frame up and then make the frame uh, tight and then it makes the door difficult to open and close okay so we've got, don't have we haven't got the adhesive on there yet so I just want to do a dry fit just to make sure this door does go in and we're not going to have any nasty problems okay there we go that one's in all right so we'll take that back out and we'll apply our adhesive okay next step we're going to apply the adhesive uh, to the door so I've uh, got our trusty consumption chart from the website and it says doors 7 mil so what we're going to do is apply a 7mm diameter bead of adhesive to the uh, surface here of the door. We're going to apply that all the way around the door. Okay, so first up we'll just apply some to a bit of scrap to see that our diameter is right and adjust the flow if we need to.
Okay, so we've got our adhesive applied, about a six or a seven mil bead. So now it's time to uh, place the door into the cavity. Like so. Now again, you shouldn't need to force it. It should fit in there lovely. And then we'll just apply some uh, styro tape across the uh, door to hold it up against the panel while the adhesive cures. This is all you need, just some gentle pressure. You can see some of the adhesive is starting to ooze out the side. So my tip there is to leave that. Leave that until uh, 12 hours time. And we can very carefully knife that off before we uh, finish fillet around the outside. Okay, so there you have it. I'd leave that for about 12 hours. Let, uh, let the adhesive cure. And then we'll come back to that and we'll finish that off. Okay guys, day after the adhesive uh, has uh, cured. Um, so we'll uh, take the tape off and we can open the door. All right, so we'll open the door. Could be a bit jerky the first time you open it because uh, inside there is the um, rubber spaces that, uh, that space the door square from um, production coming out to greet you. So from that point, you can then, uh, there we go, that shuts quite nice. So what we've ended up with is some adhesive that's uh, oozed out the side from when we've pushed the uh, the door in so we'll trim that off and to trim that off we'll use uh, one of these king chrome scrapers they work quite well and uh, also a stanley knife sharp all right so you can gently just pierce into the adhesive And just working your way around the door, wherever the um, adhesive uh, has squeezed out. Of course, this all depends on how much you put on. But um, once it's cured, it is quite easy to um, remove. So what we'll do after this step is um, just fill it finish around the join. All right, next up before we um, add our terracin. We'll uh, give the surfaces a wipe down with the VR10. Okay, now I've swapped to a uh, small diameter tip. Let's do a couple of test passes to um, adjust my flow. And once again, we'll blend that fillet in. All right, so now we'll open the door and uh, we'll work on the inside. Okay, so moving inside uh, the van now, looking at the, uh, the entry door, we've uh, applied the terracin sealant to the joint uh, from the inside, same as what we did on the outside, so that gives it a nice uh, fiddled finish. Um, what you can get is this uh, rubber seal that um, comes with the older type doors but I believe is an optional extra for the new style door and it actually clips inside the extrusion so you can have a rubber seal 
it's not so much a seal, it's more of a dress ring, I suppose, uh, around the door if you prefer, or you can just live with the, um, the white sealant fillet. Um, with the older type doors, they don't have this uh, cam uh, keeper, so to speak, so this can be one piece all the way around, but um, with these new type doors, they got this uh, pretty good uh, cam lock idea. Um, so you'll have to um, cut the seal and stop it and start it. Um, but that'll just be a personal preference, I guess. Okay, so we'll close this door. And what we want to do is um, sort of take note of how the, uh, the strikers um, or the pins come into the, uh, into the keeper. And uh, as you operate or close the door, you just want to look at see how well these pins come down into the keeper and see if there's any adjustments that need to be made. And it, uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to put a bit of uh, dry lube on the pin and into the track. Uh, if you need to adjust these keepers, there's uh, three screws here that you'd undo. All right, that'll give you up and down adjustment. And then the screw at the top and the screw at the bottom will give you some in and out adjustment. But um, what I've seen from these doors uh, from the factory, they come uh, pretty well plug and play. So I personally haven't had to adjust one yet. Okay, so finally we've got the door shut. Um, what we need to do now is cover the um, catch mechanism. Um, so Aussie Traveller have some uh, plastic um, covers that will cover this. Um, if you happen to have a, uh, a partition wall or a cupboard or something that's very close by and you can't run past the door for that very reason, they also have these that uh, are cut off so uh, they can come up against a, a cupboard or a partition wall. Okay, so uh, fitting these plastic covers, uh, you're just loosening the two screws to the outside slightly and you just uh, slide the plastic cover underneath the screw heads, push it till it's home and then um, just gently uh, do the screw up. Right, so yeah, when you install the uh, rubber extrusion, you know, they can sometimes sit quite weird. Um, but a, an old trick from the um, transport refrigeration game is you hit them uh, with a heat gun. Or you could even use a, a good wife's hair dryer. Um, but you don't want to add too much heat. It's not good for the rubber. It won't be good for the composite panel either. Okay, so finally, that's it. Um, we're all assembled. There you have it, quite an attractive looking door. All we have left in the bag really is the, uh, the two keys and of course the, uh, the catch latch. Um, so you would uh, screw that to your wall in the appropriate position. I won't do it to this one, but um, just a couple of self-tapping screws. I'd probably apply a little bit of Terrace and MS-939 to that as well. And uh, that's it, your ARTV door is installed.